Welcome to this video on Mobile Splash Pro. In this video, I'm going to quickly take you through creating your first mobile pop-up. With Mobile Splash Pro, you've got four options for your pop-ups. I'll just quickly show them here. The first option is a standard text pop-up. So you, you'll be able to put text in and then the user will have an OK or cancel button. So for example, you could use that uh, to say download our app now or whatever promotion you wanted. Whilst a lot of companies use standard text pop-up, with Mobile Splash Pro you can actually do a lot more things with it. For example, you can have an image pop-up. So it will pull up an image, again with a call to action button, and you can make the call to action button do send someone to a URL, do a click to call or click to SMS. You can have a video pop-up where it will pull up a video. Again, you can put any call to action uh, on the button. And then finally, you can also have a raw HTML code. So you can, for example, put in an autoresponder opt-in form from any autoresponder, Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, uh, Imnica Mail, whatever you use, or you could put in any HTML code you like. So let's go ahead and quickly make a, uh, a pop-up. So you'll click create pop-up. Now you'll see the first option you've got is uh, whether you're going to create the pop-up for a, mo uh, a WordPress site or a standard HTML or PHP uh, website. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to use the standard HTML or PHP, so we use the code option. Then you can decide whether you want to have cookies enabled or not. So what this means is with cookies enabled, a visitor to the web page will only see the pop-up once every 30 days. Whereas if you click no, then the pop-up will appear every time the person visits the web page. So I'll click no for now. Then we decide whether we want the action to be a click to URL, click to call or click to send an SMS. So we'll do a click to URL for this. And then we decide whether we want a standard text pop-up, video, image pop-up, or an opt-in form pop-up, which is the HTML. So let's create a standard text pop-up first of all. Select that, and then some more options come. So <clears throat> the first thing we do is uh, name the pop-up. This is just so that we can see in our list of pop-ups we know what's what. So if I put, uh, this is going to go on to one website, so I'll call it uh, ESM pop up. Then we put the website address. Now we don't put the web page, just the website that it's going to be locked to. You don't need to put HTTP colon slash slash just the www. And if there's a subdomain involved, then just put the subdomain. So for example, if we use this one, shop dot. That would be um, the subdomain shop dot bespoke marketing system dot com. But in this example, I'm only going to use the main site. So www dot. Okay. Once you've done that, all you need to do is fill in the settings for each mobile device. Now we've got Android, iPhone, iPad, Windows Mobile and Blackberry so they can all have different messages and different URLs. Um, but to save time I'm just going to put the uh, put the same one in and we'll just use Google and we'll put uh, download our app now. So I'll copy the message into of course, as I mentioned before, you can have different messages for iPhone users, for iPad, iPad users, Windows Mobile, and BlackBerry. We'll quickly put these in. And then, of course, different URLs as well, which, if it was to download an app, you would need the URLs of where the app's located. But I'll quickly put... URLs in there. Okay, and that's done. So all you do then, just have a quick check and then click create code. 
Now, Mobile Splash Pro is going to create the code for you. There you go, it's created, even though I've got a slow internet connection at the moment. It's going through my mobile phone. Um, now, <clears throat> it explains here what you need to do. You copy the code below and paste it into the head tag or just before the closing head tag on your page. So we do Control A to select all, then Control C to copy, and then we go to uh, our web page. Let me just we go to our web page and we will then just paste the code we've created before the closing head tag. There's the closing head tag. Then all you do is save the um, save the page and FTP to your web server. And then that's done, and that's how quickly you can create a standard text pop-up for any web page. Thanks for watching. Have a look at the other videos for the other pop-ups and for WordPress.